Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Fall of the Republic 1.3 preview playthrough as the CIS. Uh, we're just getting straight into a battle here as the Republic attacked a planet that we moved in some defenses to. We have an ion cannon though, so that's uh, that's pretty great. But as uh, as we start off here, there will be... I should put that on. Okay. There will be a link in the description if you would like to support us in the Mod of the Year competition on Mod Database. Uh, right now, they're in the top 100 phase of voting. So, if you'd like to vote for Thrawn's Revenge or Fall of the Republic or any other mod or any combination of any number of mods, because you can vote for multiple, uh, follow that link. And we'd appreciate your vote. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure exactly when the General results get announced. Brandis I should probably do a standalone video for that. Attitude, and I'm going to do that. But uh, we've also got this this Saturday or this Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern. Already scheduled the stream. We got a big anniversary, or not anniversary, a big holiday stream in the style of our anniversary streams where we got a lot of fun stuff to look at. But right now we're looking at a an attack from the CIS or from the Republic that... No, I'm not actually worried about it. It's an attack that I'm not that worried about. We're gonna just send our bombers in and our fighters. Uh, even though, obviously, no, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna make the joke. I'm not gonna make the joke. Some of you may know the joke I was gonna make. Uh, you can leave it in the comments, and then I'll I'll like the comment, and I'll see the little bit while I read people. Just guessing what I was gonna say. Okay, we'll move you guys up there. Um, I wonder if it is if it is worth going all the way to the back with those. Probably not. We can probably just go in on this first one. So I'll just uh, I'll just grab everyone there. And your orders, Commander. Like with the ion cannon, especially, let alone our our bigger fleet and Mirai, obviously the the real winner of the day. We we probably don't have too much to worry about. But let's uh, let's try to destroy some of their fighters and bombers before we really get involved. And we'll use the ion cannon on the one we're about to start bombing, which will I think we're gonna have one volley in of the rockets. I don't think we're gonna be wasting any of the any of the Montillions. Like if we could fire this off before the bombs hit, that'd be pretty cool. Otherwise, oh yeah, we're really wasting that. All right. In that case, we'll use the ion cannon. Oh wait, no, no, we got it. We got it. I mean, they'd already fired off a lot of them, so they're not gonna spread as much, but we still got a lot of it. Like I wasn't, I didn't give them the order to target different stuff because I. I just assumed we wouldn't be we wouldn't be able to get that. All right, you guys and you, Bulwark, go on the vendor. Bulwark has uh, a lot of ion cannons, which are pretty rare in uh, in the Clone Wars. There's really not that many ships that have ion cannons. It's a lot of lasers and turbo lasers. So let's get uh, let's get a couple bombers over on on this vendor. Cause why not? Where's that Providence at? So we have Barbados, we have Guru, and we have worst case Ontario on there. Oxzilla. Enterprise and Strength are the trio that are dealing with this vendor. Alright, with those in, I think I'm actually just gonna 
swap these bombers onto this invincible. And with all the damage we've done already, I think it makes the most sense to try to get over try to get over to that last one. That last invincible. I just got a delivery notification text that I'm not sure if it's real or if it's a scam. Yay holidays. Oh, we've actually we started getting the shields back on this one. We cannot allow Republic forces to retake target All right. alpha. I really wish I had that munificent upright. Get the the missile redirect going. Oh well. Let's shoot other stuff instead. Alright. If you would all like to shoot different hard points, that'd be really cool. If you would like to be in range to shoot any hard points, that'd also be really cool. Well, we're gonna at least get these these missiles. So that's something. That's that's worth writing on about, I guess. Hello, Rebel. Shutdown sequence nearly complete. They're not going to be able to try to run because we have the supply ship, so we got the interdiction uh, available, even if we're not. Like, even if we'd be able to destroy the the engines if we really had to. We're just not going to do it. Uh, they've actually, they've still got most of their missiles on that one, but I was kind of worried, I was starting to get worried about Aruru. Now it's, it's gone. It's gotten to safety, it's not gone. If it was gone, then I guess we still wouldn't have to worry about it. Alright, and we know they have a big fleet at, uh, at Antimeridius, but that's cut off now, and we'll probably have to deal with it sooner than later, because otherwise they'd be able to attack us. Especially if they have any ground forces there, otherwise they'll get stopped. I do still want to talk to Bob about changing part of that so we can address any locked-in ones. But have not yet. Right, there's one. I'd rather just keep these guys on the invincible that's up here. We have lost a bomb. Countdown approaching zero. And. This, this, I mean, here. Yeah, just shoot that one. I guess we don't have to use the, the shot, but... It just feels like a waste if we don't. We need to give out the year-end bonuses, or else like, the budget gets dropped for next year. You need to make sure you're making the most of it. We'll do a... A weird office politics version of Empire of War. Alright, we got two hard points left total. Oh, actually, never mind. There were, there were more hard points left. Now there are no hard points left. Okay, so I really... Th I think we've taken out most of that fleet that was causing problems in the south. Or in the south part of the north, in the central, in the north central. Either way, I'm using two words. I don't really get any any benefit from that. We'll have to workshop that. All right. Get a quick save in. And then I think we might even... Uh, Use one of these south fleets for the first time. 
can bring you in. We can go to Tatooine. Tactics for future computations. Well, I also want to make sure that we are uh, expanding our orbital structures as much as possible. We also want to get our pop cap up a little bit. And that should still leave. Elenroig free to build. The battle is ours to lose. Ghost of Dooku. And H.G. Wells DeLorean. Alright. Uh, this is a... Not great Pathfinder situation, but we'll still go to Tatooine anyways. Complete. Uh, Tagurid is asking would the Nagai and Toph be represented in TR in the future? Possibly, hopefully. There's not uh, necessarily any specific plans for them right now, but it's like a situation where if we have the, the resources and one of the artists ends up making enough stuff that we can actually use it, then we're not gonna, we're not gonna not do it. Like, Oz has started a Toph battleship. It's one of the things with, with the Toph is that it's just a pirate ship in space, so we need to do some modifications to that. But uh, let's start with It's All Ohio, Doctor, Barbados. Okay, that's double Barbados. Scylla, and our bribe money. I'm going to have to sell this one. Detected. We'll sell that, and while we are working on the capital ships most down here, uh, we'll probably want to get some of the uh, some of the smaller ships too, so it's not just all provinces and bulwarks and stuff down here. It partially depends on where their fleets are, though, too. We don't know what the situation there is. Alright. I love the new proton torpedo effects. Any any second you wanna you wanna get started out. There you go. So I I recorded the New Republic faction guide this week. I finished editing it today. And there's one or two ships where their footage comes from point three instead of point two. And you can tell because the proton torpedo effects are the modern ones rather than the ones in the public release, even though the guide is for the public release. So I'm saying that here now, just in case anyone sees the sees the posted guide and then starts trying to think uh, I'm getting one over on them or think they're getting one over on me by pointing it out. So now, come clean. You're all aware of my big secret. Ready to destroy the clone. Successful tactical adjustment. And I think we'll be able to get to the, the victory point. Reload your it's not a super heavily defended planet. We made it. Program activated. I'm kind of wondering if we'll want to get... Uh, Rule on for, for the campaign soon. Because I'm not sure how much of the starting forces are gone or how much of any other forces they're going to be able to replace. Especially as we get uh, our stuff moving. Okay. Because we haven't taken that many losses. We're good on money. I do want to make sure that I don't like trick myself into having like a another 60 episode campaign even though it's a smaller map. Let's get over the bridge. Yeah, they really they don't really have much here at all. It's just uh Whatever's left in the structure, I guess, in the garrisons. So we'll get 
a nice little victory point, and they're retreating. All right. We won't go too much farther on this side just yet. I just saw an opportunity for a Tatooine, and I took it. Building started. Especially because no Vaughn used to be one of theirs. But... Um, I don't know if I actually had Cruel set up in Fall of the Republic yet. Because it's changed where uh, this... So I, I don't think I've shown this off yet. But where the Cruel AI button used to be, there's this option button. I still need to do actual art for that. Because obviously it's just a duplicated version of this right now. But it basically opens a new build tab where there are some more game options. So you'll be able to turn on and off Cruel from in here. And this build option here sets the default skin for the Clone Legions. Uh, so if you want to play as or again, or play with or against the 501st skin being more common, so that like, rather than using their legion list texture, Clone Troopers have that as the default, you can just cycle through here and you'll be able to pick whatever you want. So there's a few there's a few options like that we're thinking of putting in there. Hey there, Black Wolf. Thank you very much. It was fun. Uh, do we want to go for Ord Fargen too? Oh wait, I I needed to sell. I needed to sell you. We're getting the last of our regular providences already. Uh, Hypori, did we actually get the shipyard yet? No, not yet. We're still building that. Alright, does Siskin have a shipyard? It does. I think we have almost everything. So, Facts and Logic. And SMS Eden. For this one, we can get Magnificent Munificent. Montillions. Outer Keg. Rayquaza. D1 party. I always used to say Rayquaza, and I think it might be Rayquaza, and now I just, I don't know. I don't know what the correct one is. Are the ships on Gamor patron ones? Okay, we have Captain America. I could shoot this all day. Construction complete. And Charlie's Toe. They are holding the, the position there. Stockpile credits. All right, uh, which factions are nearest by? We can basically get everything except for the Trade Federation. And we'll get uh, a planet that's connected to us. So we want Mintuine and we want Metalorn. With our next little bit of money, I think we will get uh, the Banking Clan. Not anywhere. Okay. We have the Techno Union Planet, or Techno Union in Integration, Power Skilled. Construction complete. Uh, are you a mission reward? Construction yeah. Construction they were just the mission reward one of those. Normally, I'd I'd want to actually use those, but as it is, I need the money for other stuff. Actually, no, I don't, because we we've, we've got them all queued up. All right. So, huh. One of these fleets we kind of need to use against the CIS. Oh, yeah, I guess. I... Let's get one of the mercenary heroes. Hiring bounty hunter. And... Construction. We want to take Mon Calamari or uh, ooh, Tomex, Tomex, Tomex. something about the map's position really does just throw me off. There it is. Okay, so they are coming in through there. I think we need to take this fleet in through. Uh, we have a heavy frigate shipyard. We have a golden two. 
I think I can actually win this. I think I can win this. Hello there, Arios. Maybe. No, it's so many dreadnoughts. Too many dreadnoughts. Because it's only it's only a goal in one. It always messes me up a little when I've been doing a lot of TR and then go to FOTR with the stations. Yeah, I know it's not the only Galactic Conquest with the regional skew, but like... There's something about the position of, of the map that I always expect to be further north than it is. And I don't know why I feel that way, but I feel like it all should be like north of the Galactic Equator, but it goes all the way down to like Christophsis and Tatooine. It's like, I, I feel like the whole thing is just north of Nalhutta, like that line, Nalhutta and Kashyyyk, but it's obviously not. I wonder if they've built any of these on Antimeridius. I really, I don't know that we're to be able to get much out of this. I think part of it is that this might be the the only Galactic Conquest in this region other than Zinj? Like, Hunt for Zinj covers the area that I think of this Galactic Conquest as covering, almost. Oh no. And that one's been cut. The east is boring, I guess. It's all, like, really far north. Okay. Hmm. Can we kill an egg? I don't know if we can kill an egg. We can try. I mean, that is, uh... E.T. dubs in. Much better than P.J. dubs. I was hoping to get up a little bit further there to hit the acclimator, but I think I might have just screwed myself. It's not even just that we don't have Black the Conquest around that area of space. There's just like so few planets that are even around that area of space. That was one of the trickiest things with uh, when I was working on the Galactic Conquest maps for Thrawn's Revenge so far for the progressives, because uh, they're all being redone. Yeah. Is that getting planets properly spread out in there was hell. Like, Emberlene is not a particularly relevant planet, but because it is where it is, and there's nothing else that's really around it except for, like, maybe Rusan, it's in, like, almost every Galactic Conflict. Alright, we killed an Acclimator. An Acclamator. So little relevant stuff actually happens, really. Like, even looking at uh, other official maps, unless you kind of put a plan in yourself, too many. But I think once we get to the Confederacy stuff, and maybe even some Vong War stuff, not really the Vong War, because they kind of like looped around and went through. But there's enough of the Krellian Confederacy stuff that's like their territory kind of goes through there. We might be able to get some decent maps out of that. But that's uh, a long way away. Alright. 
I think we... I'm proud of us killing that Acclimator. I don't know why I thought we could kill all of the... All of the Dreadnoughts like that. Really lowered the standards during that. From winning outright to killing one Acclimator. Roger, roger. Alright, we'll use the opportunity to go through there then. Tactical battle imminent. Uh hmm. Air speeders. We'll want an AA turret, a bunch of AA turrets. I might just cancel some kind of production. We have a little bit of extra money to work with. Well, I was only thinking of it as being the 8 DHCs from the other stack rather than the 16 total. I don't know why it didn't, I didn't register like two different types of DHC being there in high amounts. I was only thinking of it as being three acclimators and eight DHCs. When it was not that. And I also thought I had a golden team. There was half as many DHCs in my mind and an infinite number or infinite percentage more of uh, Golan 2s. I guess I'll get that. I want you guys to keep that Turbo laser capture. I think we can handle all the speeders. This is going to become an anti-infantry turret. Uh, this will be anti-vehicle over there. I think we need another one of those. The turbo laser should be able to handle it. I just don't want it to take forever to do that and then die in the process. Kill the bikes. No, come back actually and get another turret so we can kill the bikes later. Don't like happening there. Okay, pull back a little bit so that we can get the turret to help. There you go. And try to get the arc. You're gonna have to come up here because we need those bikes done. All they're doing right now is killing a tax collection agency. Which, I mean, I don't want to lose it, but it's not gonna help us attack it. Just, just run over Can you run over them too? Visual scan confirmation. There we go. Not ideal. Better come up with a plan. I'm on point. Pretty impressive. We still need at least one of the turrets. If I can get both. And that'd be good too. Enemy unit terminated. I love the persuaders. Registering noise. They're so goddamn ugly, but sometimes you just gotta accept that and take what you can get. Okay, that'll eventually get them. Oof, we're gonna lose the turret. What 
are they gonna bomb? Oh, it's a... It's just the cute one. The cutest bombing run. I don't remember the planet column X. Is it one of the things that will come with 1.3? Oh, nope. It's been in... It's it's in a lot more Thrawn's Revenge maps than Fall of the Republic. I think. I don't think it's in the progressive Fall of the Republic ones. But it's been around. All right. You win this time, jerks. All right. Well, that, I think, is going to do it for our first episode of the day. Uh, we're going to keep going for those of you here on Twitch, but for those watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series so far, and hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.